Hey guys, we're in Katoomba, which is a small mountain town in the westernmost part of Sydney. It's famous for being right on top of the Blue Mountains, which are right behind me. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are a ton of hiking trails here that go through the valleys and through the cliff sides actually, so it's really cool. We're gonna take you around and show you Echo Point, Scenic World, and Katoomba Town Center itself. Let's go. So at our first stop, Echo Point, uh, they have parking meters all over the place and they charge you a minimum of 460 Australian dollars an hour. Uh, but, pro tip, if you're willing to park just a couple blocks away, you can walk in for free, which is what we're doing. <laughs> So this is Echo Point. It's like the most famous and popular thing to do here. It has a great lookout over the valley and it also has a lookout over a really famous Aboriginal site which we're gonna go see right now and a little tourist center and stuff so we'll check that out too. So these are the three sisters. This is the super famous lookout that's here. Uh, the Aboriginal story has a few different versions, but it's basically that uh, three sisters were turned into stone to protect them during wartime, but the shaman that did it died in all the violence and was never able to turn them back. So this is the result of that. I collect magnets, so I think these are pretty cool. There's also that, but I don't think I like that one as much. <laughs> I like these. Oh, this is pretty. The Waratahs. So that is Echo Point. You can also go hiking down to the Three Sisters, which is really cool. I highly recommend you do it. But we're gonna check out the next spot now. Love me. We love finding cats everywhere we go. <laughs> On our blog, I'll put a link below, I have a, a little cat globe with ratings for each country that we've found cats in. <laughs> oh. Australia is not that high, unfortunately. <laughs> there aren't very many cats. Our second stop is at Scenic World. It has the steepest railway in the entire world. It used to be used for oil shale, but now it's just turned into a ride. It's 50 Australian dollars per person to ride both the railway and a gondola that they also built that goes right over the valley. They also have a one-way option for the railway and a lot of people will ride it down and then hike back up because the rail ends right in the middle of a popular hiking trail. So that's also an option. Uh, we're not going to be riding it today, but We'll show you what it is. So this is our final stop of the day, the Katoomba Town Center. There's not really much to Katoomba. Uh, it's known for antiques, I guess, but none of the stores are open right now. Sorry, mate, we're not open right now. Oh, gotcha, sorry. thank you. So, so much for that. Kind of a bummer. Uh, see, you can buy some stuff you could never travel with. Why can't you travel with it? I'm pretty sure all of these would be like, you know, archaeological goods. Who knows if they're real, but if they are, right? Like the stuff we saw in Borneo? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know. You can buy it. You can buy it, but you can't ever move it out of a country's borders. <laughs> That's a great little kebab shop. The guy that cooks there, I guess, used to be a cook for like U2 and the Rolling Stones and stuff. And yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. 
like Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Meringue ones. This is a outdoor art gallery. It's been around for, I don't know, five years, something like that. What's it say? 2015? Cool. <laughs> it doesn't seem very popular, does it? <laughs> it is cool, but <laughs> nobody's back here. Or perhaps it's deserted for a reason. It's just a sneaky way to lure tourists into an alleyway. <laughs> It does make a somewhat ugly back street into something a little more entertaining, right? The last thing that you can do in Katoomba is check out some of the hiking trails. Our favorite hikes have been the Grand Canyon Trail, the Overcliff Undercliff Trail, and the Valley of the Waters hike. If you're in Katoomba, you gotta go check those out. They're amazing. Do it. <laughs> that was Katoomba. It's got beautiful hiking. And yeah. that's where it really excels. Otherwise, Katoomba doesn't have too much in it. It's not much different than any other small size Australian town, some dodgy takeaway places, <laughs> and a few little shops for this and that, and of course, a Woolworths and a Coles. <laughs> Gotta have those. Gotta have those, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a cute little town, and if you're into nature and the Blue Mountains, it is really nowhere better. It's only a few minutes drive mm -hmm. from like everything. So yeah, for sure. It's totally worth doing. Yeah. yeah. Highly recommend it. It's mm -hmm. worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you want to join us on any more adventures and see what we're up to, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.